In vitro fertilization or IVF is an assisted reproduction technique which was introduced to the world about 40 years back by Dr. Stepto and Dr. Edward in London whilst treating a patient of theirs who had infertility with blocked tubes. In all these 40 years, this technique has come a long way. Whereas the initial cycle was a natural cycle transfer, nowadays we stimulate or hyperstimulate the ovaries to create a situation of super ovulation. That is, our target is to achieve many about 10-15 oocytes from the ovaries. For this purpose, the ovarian reserve of the female partner is checked, which means that we check the number of oocytes or enteral follicles inside the ovaries of this female and then accordingly we give her injections of the hormones which basically stimulate these oocytes to grow to a certain level. After this growth is achieved, we give another injection to the lady which is called trigger, which helps in the final maturation of these oocytes. Within 34 to 36 hours of this trigger injection, these oocytes are then retrieved out by inserting a needle inside the ovaries under transvaginal sonography guidance. The oocytes thus retrieved are then sent to the embryology lab which are then assessed for their maturity levels. The M2 oocytes are considered good. At this time, the semen sample from the male partner is obtained and is processed or washed inside the lab. The oocytes and the sperms thus retrieved are then fertilized in the laboratory conditions in the embryology lab and a zygote is formed. This zygote is then observed over a period of next three days and the next maturation processes are seen. At day three, if the embryo is good, then we, it can be transferred back to the uterine cavity of the female partner. Nowadays, this embryo can even be taken up to the stage of day five, which is called blastocyst. And it is generally considered that a blastocyst is a better grade embryo than a day 3 embryo. After the embryo is transferred back into the uterine cavity, it is on its own and it has to go on to and latch onto the endometrium and cause implantation of the pregnancy. After 15 days of this embryo transfer, we do a blood test of the female called serum beta HCG, which tells us if the woman has become pregnant or not. A value of more than 100 is considered positive. After 15 days of this positive beta HCG test, a sonography of the female partner is done again to confirm the viability and the presence of the pregnancy inside the uterus. Hence, this entire procedure of super ovulation followed by trigger, followed by embryo formation and followed by embryo transfer it constitutes what we call as one cycle of in vitro fertilization or IVF. Nowadays, various advancements like laser assisted hatching, blastocyst culture, ICSI in the patients of low sperm count or severe oligospermia, and TISA, MISA, PISA in cases of obstructive azospermia have come up, which have increased the armamentarium of the embryologist and the ART specialist and can increase the pregnancy rates for up to 10 to 15 percent.